Hello guys, you're back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the concept of SAAS, guys, Software as a Service. Okay, yes. So SAAS is also known as On-Demand Software. Okay, so basically we use some applications, online web applications, right? So in which we cannot do any kind of modifications, but we can use that service, right, to do our operations. Okay, like it might be with respect to a PDF editing online or any kind of applications, right? So all those applications come under SaaS guys. Okay, so on-demand software they are, okay? So it is a software distribution model in which services are hosted by the cloud service provider. So basically they will provide something. So it might be your Gmail. So it might be anything guys, okay? Yes. So these services are available to end users over the internet and this SaaS is mostly used by the end users guys. So we are the customers indirectly. Okay. So the end users do not need to install any software or there is any device requirement. They can access from any device with just internet connection and a browser guys. That's it. Okay. Yes. Okay. So now let us go through some applications. Okay. So the applications of SaaS will be some popular applications will be your billing, sales, CRM, customer relation model and all those things guys. So wherever the user can directly use the application online. So all those things you can write as our applications or examples guys. Okay. Yes. So any help desks, social media, mailing services, everything which you are using online. So basically we are visiting websites for some services. So all those things you can write guys. Okay. Yes. So now let us go through some characteristics. After that, we'll be moving on to some issues, guys. Okay. Characteristics, benefits, advantages. Both three terms are same, guys. Okay. Yes. So the availability of software over internet. So basically, the availability of software will be really high, guys. Because we all know that the cloud service providers, they mean that 99.99% percent uptime right yes so that is the reason why the software will anytime it will be available and maintenance and uh, updates will be taken care directly by the vendor so basically assume that you built your web app and you are running a php some 9 or 10 version i don't know exactly which version is currently running so you, some update came so your vendor will take care of that updates and all those things yes there is no need for you to update them manually okay similarly subscription and usage and license will be really easy to use okay and the cost will be low okay on demand available so if you want something if you want to upgrade something you can do it similarly easily scalable yes and platform operating system independent okay you can run from any operating system okay so now let us go through some issues so remember guys any cloud computing service if it is having vendor lock-in so it is one of the most unused version guys you can say so in that way so that is the reason why vendor locking should not be there okay yes Similarly, standard internet needs. So basically, we need some good internet connection, right, to use that application. Similarly, browser-based risk, like any kind of malicious code or anything. So basically, assume that the application's browser is having some issues. So even those things could raise some issues, right? Yes. So I hope everyone got some basic idea about SaaS, right, software as a service. So in the next lecture, we'll be discussing about resource virtualization. That is nothing, but we'll be discussing about virtualization first, okay? Yes. So let us meet in the next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.